Welcome arithmetic ninjas to multiplying or dividing a decimal by 10, 100 or 1000. And the first thing we're going to talk about today is that famous song called the Cha Cha Slide. Now it's a dance that you've probably all done at your school disco. And there's a line in the song that says slide to the left, slide to the right. Crisscross, that's the line that we're talking about. Now, we're going to change the lyrics slightly. Instead of slide to the left, we're going to make that times to the left. And instead of slide to the right, we're going to make that divide to the right. Now, what we're trying to do here is give us a way of remembering which way to move our digits. Times to the left, divide to the right. Times to the left, divide to the right. So anytime we're dealing with a divide by 10, 100 or 1000, we're moving the digits to the right to make the answer smaller than what we started with. And if we are multiplying, we move the digits to the left, times to the left, to make the answer bigger than what we started with. We've got a few questions of each type here, so we'll have a look and see how it goes. So question number one, we've got 3.9 divided by 100. Well, I always recommend people start with by just putting the question again. So 3.9, we are dividing, so that's divide to the right, and we're going by 100, divided by 100, so that means two zeros, move your digits two places to the right. So starting with the three, the three is gonna go one, two, two places to the right, but it's going to go on the line underneath. Now, our decimal point doesn't move, so the decimal point is going to stay there. Now, if the 3 has moved two places to the right, if it goes 3, 9 in the question, it's going to go 3, 9 in the answer, so the 9 is going to be just after it. But all we need to do now, so both the 3 and the 9 have moved two places to the right, we've got two empty gaps around the decimal point, we just need to fill those in with zeros. Final answer to the first one, 0 0.039. Question 8. We'll start with 4.31. The decimal point isn't going to move, so you can actually put that underneath. And we're times in by 1,000. Well, it's times to the left. So we need to move each digit three places to the left because there's one, two, three zeros on 1,000. So the 4 is going to go 1, 2, three places to the left into this column but on the line underneath and if it goes four three one in the question it's going to go four three one in the answer but we do have an empty space next to the decimal point which we must fill in with a zero so the final answer to this question is four thousand three hundred and ten question twelve We've got 16.3 divided by 100. Well, it's divide to the right. So all the digits are going to move, move one, two places to the right because it's 100 and 100's got two zeros. Start with 16.3. Your decimal point's not going to move, so you put that in on the line underneath. And this one is going to go one, two places to the right. So the one is actually going to end up underneath the three. If it goes 1, 6, 3 in the question, it goes 1, 6, 3 in the answer. So we need a 6 and a 3 there. The only thing that's missing is the 0 in front of our decimal point. So your final answer for question 12, 0.163. Question 15. We've got a times. So it's times to the left. So, and that's going to be three places because it's got three zeros on the end. So start with your decimal point, put your 6.88 in, put your decimal point on the line underneath because the decimal point is not going to move. And the six is going to go one, two, three places to the left, times to the left. So the six is going to go in that column. If it goes six, eight, eight in the question, it goes six, eight, eight in the answer. So there's your six, eight, eight in the answer. And we've got one empty space in front of the decimal point, which we're going to fill in with a zero. Final answer to that question is 6,880. Last question. We've got 3.8 divided by 1,000. We're dividing, so that's going to be to the right. And we've got 1,000, which is one, two, three places. So 
put your decimal point in, and the three is going to go three places to the right. One, two, three. Notice how I'm using the squares to help. So the three is going to go in that column. If it goes three, eight in the question, it's going to go three, eight in the answer. And all you've got to do is fill in these two spaces with zeros. But also, you don't just start with a point. You need to, to be naught point, naught, naught, three, eight. Final answer, naught point, naught, naught, three, eight. And that's basically it. Now it's time for you to have a go at the questions that we've missed out. Good luck.